Welcome to Introduction to E-Learning Part 2. The first part, the assignment was to, uh, at the end, to draw your family members a simple line drawing. So I have mine. Uh, my wife, not, not too good, but got my drawing. These are uh, from a photo I have when we went to the beach. And then the, the two boys. There's one, there's the other, and then of course, there's me. Simple line drawing. And uh, I guess I could have done my dogs and my pigs and my chickens and well, anyway, <clears throat> time permits me, I'm only gonna do these here. Um, before I even get started with the second part, um, what we're doing is something that's called expressionistic, which means it's not gonna be realistic, it's supposed to, you're supposed to have fun with color. <clears throat> so um, here's one that's very expressionistic. Now this is done by Jim Ware. And it's, look, I look up here, I copied this. It says Jim Ware Works dot Weebly. That's W-E-E-B-L-Y dot com. You should look up his website. And uh uh, I only saw this one picture and he had another picture of Elvis and this is his style now watch what I do here as I zoom in you can see how it looks a lot of color there isn't there right you can see how the nose you know the nostrils are right there and the nose comes down here and look at the eyes just, yeah okay so it's not realistic colors and so that's what we're looking at and to me it almost looks like he did it kind of fast now here's one uh, and this is public domain which means anybody can use this he uh, a lot of artists have art worked out there in the public domain that you can use their picture and uh, this was Henry Mat uh, Henri Matisse Henry Matisse and it's called the green line and the green line is because there's a green line down the middle of the face. But look, do you think she really had a green line down the middle of her face, this lady? I think it's her his wife. Do you think she actually had green around the eyes like that? And you see how this side is flesh color, but this side it's almost yellow? Do you think it really was like that? And right there in the neck it was even more yellow? No, it wasn't. And now here's an interesting thing. When you look here, uh, this is the green line, but this is Madame Matisse. Uh, it's actually the same lady, but you can see how, look how he's outlined this blue. A lot of blue right there and there. It's kind of like he just started putting straight color down right there. He's not really considering to make it look realistic. So it's very expressionistic. It's like, uh, a lot of uh, expression and feeling goes into it, especially this one where this side here is green in the background and there's orange here and kind of a, a magenta up here. And So, uh, here's the last one I think. Last one, yeah, last one I have here. Jose, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to say this right. Tru, Trujillo, T-R-U-J-I-L-L-O um, portrait. He, he's selling this for $700. $700 for this picture here and it's a 16 inch by 12 inch so 16 up and down by 12 inch now let's take a closer look at this look look at this how close this is you can just he just like really laid that paint in there but he laid it in such a way from a distance you can see where it looks like a person close up it just looks like a big old glob of you, you would never be able to see that that's a person right there right or even a mouth. You wouldn't even see that that's a mouth. So, very expressionistic here. So we're going to do something similar to that. Now before I go any further, I, sh I meant to turn my timer on because I don't want to go too long. Alright, so let me uh, close that out. Move this over the way. So let me go with this one. Now, you may not have oil pastels like I have, but I'm going to be, be, I'm going to be using oil pastels. And I'm not going to be using realistic colors. So what I do is, 
I'm going to choose certain colors like a blue, a light blue, a dark blue, <clears throat> turquoise. I'm going to choose some green. I'm going to choose, a, since I like blues and greens, I'm going to get my blues and greens here. Um, I'm not going to do purple so much. There's a blue violet. I'm going to put this over here. I may or may not use it. Now, I may want to use a little red or a little orange. And the reason I say that is red is the opposite of green and orange is the opposite of blue. So I might use those just to get a little um, warmth into my picture. So I'm going to put these up here. So now I'm, oh, and I'm going to think I'm going to choose maybe some black for some, oh, that's, that's midnight blue, sorry. I'm going to get some black. And let me see, is there anything else in here I might need? Oh, I might use some white for highlights. Okay. Now, if you don't have oil pastels, you can do the same thing with markers. You can do the same thing with crayons, color pencils. Uh, each one has its own special, unique uh, uh, flavor to it. So, and I'm going to see if I can't do this quickly. All right. So, my sunglasses are dark. So, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do the outside first. Because I don't want to lose that. And sometimes I do this in steps, but that's if it's going to be a long process. And um, I want this to be more of a shorter process for you guys. So I got that going there. Leave it there. And I think my sunglasses are, my sunglasses are, are kind of a really dark green. So I'm going to use a dark green here. Oh, Mr. Garner. You said you shouldn't really do um, realistic. Well, this actually is not going to be realistic. So let me see. I'm going to do blue. My glasses definitely do not look this way. They definitely do not. And uh, I'm going to zoom in closer so you can see how it looks closer up. It does not actually look this way at all. Okay. Now for my, uh, um, for my face. Um, I could actually use some peach. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do some peach for my nose, for instance, and come out this way. And again, you see how I'm kind of like doing it fast because my skin is kind of peach color, except okay, it may not be that bright. And I'm just kind of I'm kind of like guessing here. It's like making it up as I go along. And the good thing about oil pastel is you can mix them, but you can do the same thing with um, crayons and other, th and other ones. All right, so let me get a little blue in here. And put a little blue right there. Maybe blue up here. And how about blue there? Oh, hang on. I need to think maybe for that nostril there so you can see it a little better. Maybe get a little white. If I lose it a little bit, I got to change it up so you can see it. And do that. And I see I have like a little triangle here. And I got some extra white here. Oh, and here's the thing. I want to color in all the spaces. I don't want to leave a lot of white unless it's something that I really want to be white. Um, let's see here if I did this. Got a little green on the nose. Put a little green up here. And put some green down here. Maybe some blue. And you don't know, you may not know this, but I'm pretty much making this up as I go along. I'm trying to stay inside the lines. And I do have some, uh, the, the black part of my mouth here and like there. And I might do a little red on my lips, just a little bit, but not much. Go back to the peach part. And um, let me see here. Let me back it up a little bit more. Um, and now for the hair. My hair is uh, a lot of it's white, 
So I'm just going to do some. Um, but you know what? I don't have to keep it white, do I? So I can go back in with um, green. Oh no, how about, how about this color? And I got some right there. Let's try this a little bit more here. Oh, see I'm keep switching it to see what it looks like. And I got blue on this side. I don't want my beard to disappear with this part here, so I'm going to have to make my beard a different color uh, or make this part a different color. So I'm kind of changing it up as I go along. And that's the neat thing about this. You can add, subtract, take some stuff away, cover it up. And let me see here. See if I can draw my nose a little bit better, better here. There we go. Getting up there. And maybe get a little lime green going up here again. And maybe get some uh, lighter blue. Maybe right here. And this, doing this this way, it's like an exercise of getting you out of that little box that you always want everything to be perfect. You want it to look exactly the way everything is supposed to be. But uh, I want to get you out of that to do something that's different. I'm going to throw a little red right here. And maybe a little bit red right here. And where's my orange? And maybe some orange right there. And let me go back to the blue. Now for the hair, let's try, I got a lot of blue here. Um, I don't know, let's try orange. How about if I outline my hair in orange? A little ginger going, going there. Keep it loose. My hair is all messed up because of uh, the water. I am kind of, I'm not scribbling. I'm actually doing it on purpose in a certain way. I'm going to put red in there now. Kind of remembering how my uh, photograph was. I had just gotten out of the water. Okay. And I might go back over here a little bit and... Right now for the, uh, I had a shirt going. Ooh, sorry about that. Had a little noise. So, um, check my timer again. Okay, good. And then for the shirt, it was, see, I've got a lot of blue. I can still do some more blue here. How about if I do a little darker green that kind of matches the uh, shirt there. Do a little bit there. Come down this way. And I'm a, I think I'm going to keep with the green. So I'm going to do a light green. Now I'm going to, since I got that going, I'm going to use black to kind of outline things. To kind of make things stand out like my beard, my head, my hair. It's okay to add a couple of black. I like doing black outlines. Kind of makes it a little more, I don't know. And this is how that looks. Let me back it up a little bit more. There we go. Now I did the the face and the uh, shoulders. Now I could do something on the uh, back part here. And since it was at a beat, whoops. Sorry about that. I am getting all sorts of messages and rings and tones and stuff. So uh, since it was at the beach, okay, um, I'm going to do this to kind of make it look beachy. How 
How about that? And do a little peachy. And I am going to go throw a little brown in there. And maybe a little uh, sea green. Right on top of that blue. And I'm going to go back with the blue again to see if I can do the little sky up here. And it's okay if it gets a little messy. It's supposed to be. Let me go over here. There we go. So there, there is my expressionistic picture of me. Now, this was this oil pastels. The other one you can do is with markers. If you got markers, let's say with the red one. I'm going to see if I can do something different here. And maybe with green, uh, with the glasses. I'm going to do something special here. So I got green there. And how about um, blue for the hair? Blue for the hair. I'm trying to do this quickly so you can... Uh, See how this is my uh stopwatch here there we go keeps turning off i keep getting other messages which then turns everything off i'm gonna switch to a darker blue oh that one that one's running out and i'm gonna do orange for this top part of the head I have no idea how this is going to turn out. I have an idea. I'm going to try. And maybe an orange ear here and an orange ear there. And maybe some uh, yellow for the nose. And even the inside of the uh, glasses. The nose. And maybe a little orange, excuse me, a little yellow there. Let's switch colors to maybe purple. Purple lips, how about that? And maybe purple down here. Just have fun with it. It's not supposed to be a masterpiece. It's like something, some big type of thing. I'm going to switch to purple, uh, pink a little bit. Then I'm going to go back to purple. Again, have fun with it. Have fun. And I have uh, one more piece right here. Oh, let's go back with um, red. Is that red? Yeah. Come on, get out of the way. I'm kind of doing it fast. I'm going to do one last thing with this before I do my special um, trick here. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to do any more with that. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is if you happen to have a Sharpie of some sort, Okay, I have a, happen to have a Sharpie. I don't actually have my regular Sharpie with me for some reason. Strange. But I have this uh, Sharpie big king size thing here. So what I'm going to do is I am actually going to draw my lines with a black Sharpie because a black Sharpie is waterproof. I am going to do some water on this picture. Now, if you have a copy machine, or a scanner, or a camera, before you actually do any coloring, if you wanted to, 
you could uh, actually take a picture of it and then print it out and use that printing um, Uh, and so you can do this over and over and over again. Okay, get some hair in there. Again, I don't know how this is going to work out. I really don't. Okay, once I've got that done, put that marker away. And now I have a little spritz bottle. Now before I do this, it's going to get a little messy. So I'm taking my oil pastels. And I'm taking my markers, putting all of them away. I've got that right there. And this over here. Now, I take this, and it's something my wife uses to spray the laundry with when she irons. So I'm just going to first try it off to the side. Okay, it's ready. I let it do that. Wow, see all the colors blending now, especially right there. Cool, neat effect. And if you want to, um, this is kind of, ooh. You know, if you, uh, if you tighten this up here, it makes it spray finer. So, oh, look at that, cool. How it bleeds off to the side. I think I'm going to do that more over here. Kind of bled a little bit too much right there. I didn't want that, but that's okay. It's all it's all accident. Kind of a happy accident. I kind of like that. It's kind of like watercoloring, did not it? Ooh, look at this, how this, there's a, this is coming from here. Oh, that's really cool. So now the trick for this is to leave it alone. Don't pick it up. Let it dry just the way it is. That may take a couple, it may take an hour. Don't mess with it, let it, let it happen. Whatever happens, let it happen. That's cool, that is so cool. That is um, markers. You see um, the uh, oil pastels. Now this one, I can still work with this one by rubbing on it. I can actually rub this to make it smooth or I can leave it just like this. So that's pretty cool. So that's what I want you guys to do. Take those pictures that you did of your family. Don't color them like a regular person. Use those wild colors and mix them up. And then if you have oil pastels, you can do it real quick like I did and then blend them. If you have markers, you can do something like this. If you have crayons, same thing. You can blend them uh, like that. Just, get, just experiment, play around, see what you can come up with, okay? Okay, and that's it for me and I hope you have fun. Remember, if you're not having fun, you're not doing it right.